It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Indianapolis Colts and the New England Patriots. And it's kick it off next on Madden NFL 25. You're getting a look at the most famous building in Foxborough. Opened in 2002, it's Charlotte Stadium. Joined by a former NFL quarterback, I'll be in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can go ahead and back to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over them for big yardage. And maybe six points, too. Joey Sly is going to have the honor of getting us started. And we're off and running from Gillette. Has this at the six. He's stopped on the return at the 27. Following the kick return, we've got somebody shaken up. So we're going to get a stoppage here as he's attended to. So their offense out now to get this game started. It's first and ten. Richardson throwing to start out. That one finds Josh Downs. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Now movement as somebody goes early. And for the first time today, we're going to hear from our officials. One of the most common penalties in the sport. And the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get backed up five yards. From the shotgun, it's Richardson. Completed over the middle. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Here's the first carry for Jonathan Taylor. And the defense gets there to force a small long. You know, for pitchers, you know, hear them say, gosh, you got to pitch this guy backwards. For defenses, you got to do the same at times, Kate. You just can't always run it on first. You got to mix in some high percentage pass plays. Otherwise, you're going to get hit right in the face for a loss just like that. On target to Downs. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. Gosh, I really like this receiver on that drag route in particular. Why? Because he's a guy that creates after the catch. They don't close quickly. He can take it to the house. Now head up, first and 10 from the 42. Shotgun, hand off to Taylor. They gain 14 on the play. And it's good for an Indianapolis first down. When you call that first down running play, you don't always expect to get those kind of yards. They'll take that every single time. They've worked it downfield very well to begin the drive. It's first and 10 at the 28. They go again with Taylor. He's able to drive them forward into the red zone. Pickup of eight on the run, and that sets up second and two.
It's easy for me to say up here in the friendly confines of the booth cave, but that was not the right read. <laughs> and you hate seeing him absorb yet another kid at the end of the play. You never want him taking unnecessary shots throughout this game. Third and short yard of Cheer Richardson. And he's incomplete, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Here's Matt Gay for the Colts field goal. This from 40 on the right hash. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. A dependable kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. Antonio Gibson now to return it. He stopped on the return of the 27. So now it's the Patriots' turn to head out for the first time on offense. Leading them out, the third overall pick in this year's draft. After a decorated career at UNC, it's Drake May. What a wild draft it was back in April. Six quarterbacks in the top 12, and Drake May, he was number three on that list. He was number three because this guy's got some tools now. He's big, he's athletic, he's got a brilliant arm, and he's got quite an opportunity with a first-time head coach here in New England. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. I know they say it any time he comes up in an interview, but they appreciate having him on this defense so much, Kate, because of plays like that one. Those are great instincts. It takes instincts and want to to come up and run support, and not many corners can make that stop. On second down, it's Stevenson. Up the sideline, past the 40. And the turn on focus now to the flag down as he ends up out of bounds. Would have liked to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no, and it's got to come back. Here we go, second and very long. And Andre Stevenson makes the catch. And this is pushed ahead for a gain of five. Zaire Franklin there to make the tackle. Following that completion, remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. May now from the gun. And that's a win for the pass rush. Hit as he threw it, leads to the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Patriots punt team coming out with former sixth rounder Bryce Beringer to do the honors. He sends this away and oh, this is gonna be a field flipper. He calls for the fair catch and has it at the 22 yard line. We don't get a return out of that punt. And the Colts will take over. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Taylor gets it to begin the drive. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Taylor again. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. It's a gain of six, and they only need half of that now on third and three. <laughs> Trying to get in with the option here, and he'll get them enough for a first down. 
Judging by how the defenders swarmed to the back, I'd say hanging on to it was the right call by the QB. And he was able to take it himself and maneuver his way forward for the first down. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. He's going to loft one deep to the left. And disaster averted. He knocks away the deep ball incomplete. The ability to track the ball. Right, ball skills isn't just knocking it away, and that's a beautiful job there, Kate. The ball skills is also being able to track a ball on a deeper throw like that. If he doesn't swat it away, we're looking at a huge game. Richardson now on second and ten. It's a completion of Michael Pittman Jr. Good little whip there. Looks like about six. Christian Gonzalez getting there for the tackle. Third and four coming up now. Looking from the gun, it's Richardson. quarterbacks are so good with their clock in their head between the tackles. And you get outside the pocket, and you've got to have that same ability. If you hesitate for a second, the defenses with their speed at this level, they'll find a way to bring you to the ground. Colt's going to kick this away now on fourth, and it's Rigoberto Sanchez on for the punt. before they bring him down on the return. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And the Pats will take over. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. Operating from the gun, here's May. Henry on the catch. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. You've heard that very common term in draft vernacular called catching radius. Let me tell you, as a quarterback, you love tight ends on drag routes because that catching radius for such a big target, then you see him, you eye him, and there's a comfort level between QB and tight end to make that connection. To the air on first down, May. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Trying to find his tight end. So that brings up second down. Back to the air. It's May. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. the air yet again, May. Try it for the deep ball. And he's there to send that one away incomplete. You know, ball skills are not just a selling point for receivers entering the draft. Teams want defenders, especially in this day and age of the passing game, who can make plays on the ball too, especially on these deeper throws. He doesn't swat that one away. We could be looking at a huge game. Bryce Behringer on now to punt. He broke 50 on his first punch and looks to have done the same here. Fair catch made a little beyond the 20-yard line. So no return on that punt. And they'll get ready to go on offense. The Colts ready to take the field. They've got an early 3-0 lead as they take over here. Taylor gets it on first and 10. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. You know, the elite running backs in this league, they don't just see what's right in front of them. You set up big runs like this because they see what's behind them. That's called extraordinary vision and extra yards. Option give to Taylor. And he's brought down for a loss. 
These stops, they don't always make the end of game highlight reels, but they absolutely should. The coaches and players know it. Offenses are always counting on yards on that type of run. And any time it results in a loss, it could be a potential drive killer. Offense to the line for second down. Richardson. Fails out of the pocket quick. Oh, he was on the move, but so is the defense, and they take him down. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. Opening frame of the game, and two times already, these defenders have got home for a home run set. They get their way, a lot more team hits are going to join them on the stat sheet with the takedown before this one ends. gets far it's a 61 yard punt that time and they're going to take over possession the new england offense running out now and it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out brock but what we haven't seen so far in this opening half well, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage you know it's like they've written a few lyrics but nowhere close to a song yet So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. From the gun, it's May. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And then brings up third down. They send a man in motion. May now on third down. Complete beyond the marker. They'll have the first down and even more. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. I can guarantee you that's going to be in Tell the Truth Monday right there in the film room front and center, showing you the importance of tackling in the open field. An opportunity to cut him down sooner, but the broken tackle allowed him to add those extra yards to the catch. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Gibson. Joey Sly on for the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Patriots take a four-point lead. All set for the kickoff. Sly with the honors. Starting from the five. Coverage team gets him down to the 26-yard line. The Colts offense set to head out. And they'll try for better results this time around, Brock, after they had to punt it away last time out. On first down, it's Richardson. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. 
tackle made by the rookie from Penn State. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the gun, Taylor. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. Hey, Kate, you want to see a picture in the football dictionary of staying on schedule? That was it. Markers reset, ball of the 37. First down throw here from Richardson. That's brought in. It's his back, Jonathan Taylor. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. He picks up 15 on the play. And it'll be first down, Colts. So before they can get set and snap it, the clock runs out on quarter one. 7-3 is our score. More from Gillette Stadium in just a minute. Ready now for our second quarter. The Colts have the football. They're looking at yet another first and ten on this drive. Going from the pistol, Richardson finds his man down. A solid gain there. Gets him across the 45 before he goes out. Second and six coming up here. Richardson back to throw. Gets him on the out route. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Now that is a potential drive killer. Defenders all over that one. It kept him from getting vertical after the catch. So a tough spot now. This is third and nine. They'll throw again. Richardson. This one finds Taylor. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. It's plays like that, Kate. Right wrong. Well, I sit and judge defense. I judge the awareness. I judge how well that coordinator's got him equipped to see what's going on on the field. And not just see it, but attack it. And they devoured that screen game on third down. Now Richardson on fourth down. He can't get away. They get the sack and force a turnover on down. Well, this play never had a chance between the pressure at home and the coverage downfield. QB still got to find a way to throw it up and give somebody an opportunity to make a play. Here's New England, ready once again on offense. They really had the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. Good field position for the Patriots as they get set for first and ten. May looking to throw. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. Looked like a bit of a concentration drop on that one. So second down coming up. The give inside to Stevenson. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Here he is on third and long. He lobs it up, looking deep to the right side. And that's going to be knocked away incomplete. Could not beat the defender there. And they're going to be stuck with a fourth and long. Well, I'll tell you what, if you can't get the pick, at least make sure a catch isn't made. That's the job of every defender out there. And he made sure that one wasn't completed. Another punt coming up. Bryce Barrier to do the honors again. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's at to punt and sends this flying. 
And that hit at the five, but got the bounce it needed to reach the end zone for a touchback. The Colts have running back Jonathan Taylor headed out with the rest of the offense. And after they were stopped on fourth down, their prior possession, Brock, you got to wonder if they're going to be confident enough to go for it again if they get to that point here. On target to downs. And he's short of the first after a mild game. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Off the play fake, here's Richardson. Tight end wheels in the shallow throw. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. They've got first down from the 31. Straight ahead with Taylor. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. That was the perfect play call for that particular situation. Gave him enough to pick up a first with some room to spare. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. This set of downs starts with an option right. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Okay, don't think for a second this is time you step off the gas. You can feel this defense, right? They're on their heels. And now's the best chance to go push the envelope and get aggressive. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. They give to Taylor, right side. And they sent it straight ahead, but the front stops him after a gain of three. Got to be rush hour, Kate, because there's a whole lot of traffic up the middle right there. <laughs> he ran right into some gridlock, and he could only manage a few yards at most. Second down now, seven to go. From the shotgun, it's Richardson. Quick slant taken in by Pittman. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Short side. Takes a cut to the right sideline. And he's able to get this down to the 13. That one goes for 17 yards and moves the chains. That's pretty good right there now. You don't always expect a sizable game when you run it on first down. You just want some yards to set up an easier second down play. But they will take that execution every time. Taylor now up the middle. And he's brought down after a tremendous effort just to get a couple of yards. It's a game of three for him. And that brings up second and seven. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. He's involved in the They're able to drop it. And the defense comes through to back them up ahead of fourth down. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth. But a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. Fourth down is going to bring out Matt Gay and the Colts field goal unit for the first time. This is a 35-yard look from the right hand. 
And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that cuts the lead back down to a lone point. You know, you look at that third down play, looking back, and it really turns into a three-point play. It's why situational work is so critical. Coaches talk about it all the time. Sure, you love the field goal, but man, they would love to touch down more. To return this, Marcus Jones. He stopped on the return of the 27. The Patriot offense making their return to the field. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. They're out and set. First and ten. On play action, here's May. Finds him over the middle. He gets forward, that's about four yards. Pretty pay, there to take him down. Second and six coming up here. Putting a receiver in motion. A give up the middle to Stevenson. And they limit this to a minimal gain to around the 34. It's a pickup of three. They're going to need three more now on third down. They go again with Stevenson. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. The Patriots have their punting unit out. Josh Downs deep for the Colts. Averaging over 50 yards a kick, and this is another one well hit. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. No return on that punt. And it'll be their football. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Running wide. This is Taylor. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. You know how we hear about teams and quarterbacks avoid targeting a stud quarterback, just throwing away from them? Well, maybe they should avoid running it anywhere near this guy. He's having no issue stopping these plays cold. All right, here we go. Second down. Looking from the gun, it's Richardson. Gets this one to Pierce. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. So now here's third and five. To throw, Richardson. He's got Pierce. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. That one gains seven. And it's good for an Indianapolis first down. So we're at the two-minute warning here from Gillette. The Colts with a long ways to go for a score. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Which is in now on first and ten. He puts a mare on the dish, one deep right. That was incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Looking for Michael Pittman Jr. on that throw. And it's going to be second down. They don't complete a high percentage of these, but even the incomplete deep shots serve a purpose. It keeps the defense honest. Knowing if they overcommit close, they could get burned. Second and ten. Again, it's Richardson. Short pass brought in. And he'll be out of bounds right along the 40. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Richardson now. Three inside the 30. It's an Indianapolis touchdown. The Colts get some late points and the lead. I love playing.
plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just gotta ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yeah. You know, when you run that fly route, <laughs> you gotta win right from the jump. Uh -huh. and you gotta protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find paper. Gay with the point after. And the Colts push their lead to six. Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. On the return, here's Gibson. He's stopped on the return at the 27. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. You got a chance to let the Madden Ratings Hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call, 1-844-MADDEN-1, and make your case for who should get a boost. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Patriots trying to hustle everyone up to the line. Going play action, May. Flushed down in the pocket. He takes it himself. Timeout taken by the Patriots. They're first to three. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Operating from the gun, here's May. Henry on the catch. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. Now we're gonna have a timeout by New England. It's second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. From the gun, it's May. Ooh, almost a throw that cost him. Defender had it in his hands, but he dropped it. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. Back to the air. It's May. And that's good for a gain of five. Reward that tackle to the effort of Leatu Latu. And on third down, the Colts going with the nickel here. To the air yet again, May. Touchdown, like a guy calling it before his three-pointer goes through the net. Oh, you mean like Larry Legend Bird Ooh. in the three-point shooting contest of the 80s? Well, maybe I like know, a Tyrese Maxey, you know, but whatever. Well, I, the kids weren't alive, I get it. And they weren't <laughs> alive in the 80s. They didn't see Larry Legend do it, but he did. And he anticipated, just like the quarterback. Here's Sly to try the point after. The point after splits the uprights. And they'll take the lead. And all set for the kickoff. Sly with the honors. Josh Downs to return it. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Colts and Anthony Richardson headed back onto the field. 
They've got first down here, but just 18 seconds to work with. All right, keeping it simple. They're just going to call a give right up the middle. And he found some running room for a nice game. And now we get a timeout from the Colts. That's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Going from the pistol, Richardson. Pittman's got it. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. Jonathan Coachman waiting by with the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half from the rookie number three overall pick, Drake May. He was on point, throwing a touchdown pass to help his guys take the lead into the break. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. On the return, here's Jones. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. The Patriots and wide receiver Kendrick Bourne set to take over now. First and 10 now from the 30. Shotgun handed off to Gibson. He swarms in the middle. This gets maybe a yard. Play made by EJ Speed. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Well, now this defense is in the driver's seat, Kate. Right? When you make a stop like that on first down, now it's your discretion of just how aggressive you want to be following that play up. They're going play action. And he just got it away before the hit, but the pass winds up incomplete. It's going to be third down. from the gun. That's caught for the first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. Here's May. And he's moving up. They're able to drop it. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. You know those elite zone defenses in basketball, Kate. It just feels like they're everywhere, clogging up every passing lane. This quarterback, well, he felt the same thing when he dropped back. Nowhere to go but for a sack. To the line they go. It's second down. Okay, 
Trying again, following the set. That's taken in by Henry. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. This drive in some serious trouble. It's third and 12. May. Dumps it off to his running back. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. He specializes in salvaging broken plays out of the backfield, but even he couldn't get anything out of that one, Kate. That defense, they were all over it. So out now comes the punter. And he's going to do the honors for the fourth time today. Ooh, it's away, but he knows he missed it. That one headed for the sideline. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. Here comes the Colts offense now for another possession. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. On the shotgun, it's Richardson. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's able to get across the 25 before stepping out. Six coming up here. Here's Taylor. And he'll get it up to the 27. They got two yards there, and that leaves them with third down and five. Snap now to Richardson. And this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game. Punt team on the field. Rigoberto Sanchez will kick it away. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. This offense headed back to the field, led by their receiver. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And the Pats will take over. On first down, they'll start with Gibson. Gets it ahead, has about five yards. Play made by EJ Speed. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. It's Stevenson. And they'll bottle this up after a four-yard gain. Reward that tackle to the effort of Leatu Latu. Give him four yards there, and they only need one more now on third down. It's not a long walk to the new spot, but it is a disappointing one to make. Instead of third down, they're now defending first and ten. A fresh set of downs after that penalty. Here's first and ten. May looking to throw. He's on the move. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And a big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. At quarterback clock, it is so important to play in the position and play in it efficiently. You got to know, you got to have that clock in your head because that's enough time in this league to get rid of the ball. That's a lesson this QB's got to learn. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Another try following the sack. That's to his running back, Antonio Gibson. 
And he rips off good yardage, but it will not move the chains. I know that completion doesn't move the chains, but I love it nonetheless. You make sure that defense is aware of every eligible player going out. And this time it was out of the backfield with the running back that shows he's adept at catching it as well. May now on third down. Makes the pattern down to the side. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset. All set up now for first and ten. Throw left side, complete. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. Second and three now. They are throwing it again. The throw is caught. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They'll run. Gibson. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. No game that time, and now it'll be second and goal. You know, Kate, these are the situations in training camp that I love more than anything to watch. You learn so much about a football team in these goal-to-go situations. You know you got to protect that goal line, and the defense, well, they did the job on first down. More to come. Here's Stevenson, and he gets them a little closer to the end zone, down to the six. Give them a few of that time, but they'll need twice that to find the end zone here on third and goal. Here's made of the air. Escapes the pocket. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. He made something out of that play for them. Everyone's so concerned with defending the pass, they didn't quite keep tabs on what he was doing as a QB, and it gave him just enough room to run. Fourth down's going to bring out Joey Sly and the Patriots' field goal unit for the first time. This is a chip shot from the left hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. That'll push their lead to four. In that close, in the red zone, you know they're upset. They couldn't finish the drive with the touchdown. It's only half the points, but at least there's something to show for the possession. All set for the kickoff. Sly with the honors. Return coming from the six. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Colts returning their offense in this running back to the field. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Richardson back to throw. Completes this one to Granson. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. It's an option to the left side. And this run's limited to a minimal gain up to about the 44. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. It may not show up as much on the old stat sheet, just a short little QB run, but what that does, Kate, is so important. It keeps that defense honest, and in particular, those defense alignment, 
Those cleats in the ground, they're not just coming after you in the pocket now. They've got to think about you as a runner as well. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. And the Patriots in the nickel for this third down call. They go again with Taylor. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. One yard gain on the play. And it'll be first down, Colts. That is some old school brutality. An offense close to a first down, a defense that knows there's a run headed right its way. In a battle of wills, the offense gets it done. First down throw here from Richardson. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. He was looking for Michael Pittman Jr. And we'll see what they do here on second down. Working from the gun, it's Richardson. And he won't get it there. Defender finds a throw and breaks it up. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Richardson now. And he'll try to hit this one well. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. And that one comes down at the two before bouncing into the end zone for a touchback. The Patriots and quarterback Drake May are ready to go once more on offense. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Man in motion here. To the air on first down, May. That one doesn't find its man, incomplete. No luck finding his receiver that time. And now they face second down. Gibson here from the gun. Gives them the first down. To throw. Here's May. Did not like what he was seeing, Brock, and he just hurls this one away. Give all the credit to the coverage on that one. Even with plenty of time to throw, they never gave him a lane to complete it. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Trying the left side with Stevenson. And they had that one contained right at the line. Play made by EJ Speed. We'll see what they come up with for third down in just a bit. We've reached the end of three. It's the Patriots with it, currently with a not-quite-so-comfortable lead to start the four. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. Made a throw it. Rolling left, buying some time. Oh, he's going to run for it! You know, once a play breaks down, you're just looking for a running lane, and then you're looking for that first down marker. He found one of the two, but the defense and that effort swarming after him, well, it denies the first down. Now 
They'll send out the punting unit. And this is the fifth time he's been called upon today. And he's there to make the fair catch right at the 10-yard line. So no return on that punt. And the Colts will take over. Now the Indianapolis offense heading out. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the puncher, Brock. They're hopefully going to give him some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. Taylor gets it to begin the drive. And he found some running room for a nice game. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. Second down carry for Taylor. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Here's Richardson. Buys time, rolling right. He's going to keep it this time. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. Big gain, 14 on the play. And it'll be first down, Colts. Well, there was no sense in taking a risk down the field when a first down was just a run away. They'll get to reset now and figure out just how they want to attack a new set of downs. On first down, it's Richardson. Target to down. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 42. Short pass brought in. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. They send a receiver in motion right. Taylor gets it on first and ten. And he's able to work this down to the 41. Good run, gets him seven. That brings up second and three. Play action with Richardson. game by the back and now his offense can go in any number of directions on first and ten markers reset ball at the 37 throwing now from the gun it's incomplete should have been a catch downfield but off his hands and to the ground it goes
No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. From the gun, Taylor. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. Hey, look, any run of this size is going to wound the defense. If you get this game going right at the heart of their defense, you start to break their will and break their pride. Here we go, third and less than a yard. Going from the pistol, Richardson. That one's incomplete. Had the connection, but some stone hands got in the way there. You only get so many chances to make this type of play for your team. Boy, you'd love to see him come through there. Offense still staying out after the incompletion. They're going to try on four. Trying to throw for it with Richardson. On fourth down, that one won't work. It's incomplete. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. Hey, I am all for aggression. You get four downs, go for it. But I do have to wonder here, Kate, after being denied once again, is there going to be a trust level on that sidelines to go for it the next time they get this shot? May on first and ten. He's on the move. He can run it. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. seeing why this defense likes him in coverage. He reacts so well to throws and is even more adept in breaking up those passes. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. This is Stevenson heading right. And he's brought down for a loss. These edge defenders in the league today, Kate, they've got so much on their list to do. A huge to-do list. They got to get to the passer. They got to set an edge. And they got to stop that run game, not just on the end of the line, but in that case, right in the middle of the field. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. From the gun, it's May. He's Marvin Walker or something here and just chucks it away. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. Their punter making his way out now. And this is going to put him up to six punts today. Fair catch called for and brought in at the 11. The visitors and this running back headed back out for a new series. They're out and set. First and ten. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Taylor now up the middle. And he reaches the 17-yard line as he's hauled down. There's five on that play. They need five more now on third down. On the shotgun, it's Richardson. Body in right side. And he's brought down. They're spotting this one right at the 20. Feet and eyes, Kate. Feet and eyes, they so often tell the story of every position on the field. When that quarterback's feet and eyes move to his secondary read, and so often it's a tight end, well, it's incumbent on that defense to fly to the ball. You want to make that tackle force the fourth down? It took a great defensive effort to do it. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. 
And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. It's a 61-yard punt that time. And they'll get ready to go on offense. First down throw for May. He'll get this in it, Lee. And he goes out close to that 45-yard line. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. May now from the gun. This one delivered off target, Brock. That's incomplete. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Operating from the gun, here's May. Gets it quickly to Douglas. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped at his own side at the 49. A seven-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. To the air yet again, May. Flush down now to... Big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. I think his decision making wrote a check that his legs couldn't catch this time. This QB could run, and he's ranging, looking for space, looking for an outlet. But there was none to be had. No escape route available this time. Let's see what they dial up on a second and very long. Another try following the sack. And no look there. That throw falls to the ground. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. He's back to throw. That's taken in by Henry. He's going to go down right along the midfield strike. Pursue, pursue, pursue. It's why they do these drills all the time, Kate. You do it through the offseason, you do it through training camp, you do it in the regular season. Because when a defense plays with tremendous pursuit, you force fourth downs just as they did. The Patriots have their punting unit out. And this one's away and looking good. Nice angle on this one headed towards the sideline. So this one sails over the sideline and they'll spot it where a touchback would go at the 20 yard line. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Now Richardson to throw. It was there but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. It was there and just couldn't corral it. And it sets up second down. Looking from the gun, it's Richardson. That won't be caught out right, it's incomplete. No connection on the last play, and out third down. Looking to throw. game here but it stopped short of the first awareness you've got to be aware play caller quarterback receiver have to be aware of where the sticks are that route just not enough not deep enough to extend the drive and move the chains we've reached the two minute warning in foxborough colts losing by four looks like they will indeed try it fourth and two they're going taylor 
he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's a pretty clear plan of attack by the back from the very start. Found the lane quickly, didn't hesitate, knew exactly what he needed to get to get past the marker. Here's first and ten from the 34. Looking to throw it. Hauled in by Downs. And he's going to go down right along the midfield stripe. Now we get a timeout from the Colts. That's their first. And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting the first. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. To throw. Cut out left. And just gets back to the line of scrimmage. And the defense was all over that throw. Able to stop it right at the line. They could smell that one coming, and they sniffed it out in a hurry. Colts operating from the hurry up, rushing back to the line. Throwing now. Really? No, oh, he's not going to escape. They take him down on a pivotal play late in this ball game. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Here he is to throw. Into traffic, complete. Decent game here, but short of the first. Time and again, receivers will tell their quarterbacks, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just throw it up and give me the opportunity. Or in this case, with even two defenders trying to cover that wide receiver, couldn't get it done. Colts operating from the hurry up, rushing back to the line. You know, Kate, I don't think I've ever met a defender that cares. All they want to do is get off the field. Doesn't matter if it's a drop pass, deflection, breakup, even an interception. Challenged by the offense to get one more stop to get off the field, and that's exactly what they did. The Colts take a timeout. That's their last one. That's all they had. So the offense free to start running the clock down now. Kneel down here, and they can start to celebrate this win. Your favorite formation, right, Brock? The victory formation here as he takes a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. After one final kneel down, partner, and this should do it. So as they've done so many times before, Brock, the Patriots take the win here at Gillette Stadium. This is the type of game everyone was hoping they'd see when they entered this stadium, Brock, you and I included. A close one that went all the way down to the final whistle. And Kate, this is one of the bigger adjustments a college player has to make to the NFL. In college, you get a lot of blowouts. The NFL, every game you get calloused because mm. you know more often than not, they'll be like this, a one possession game it's not about how you start, it's all about how you finish.